So now we need to go ahead and actually use these cards to generate what they're supposed to be. So we're going to go ahead and make a new script called card on the card prefab. We're going to go ahead and attach the script to it, the card script. So let's open this up. So in card scripts, we're going to have a public string called a card type. And we're going to have a public void generate card, which takes in a string of card type. So what this is going to do is we're going to assign our card type. And then we're going to use this to set our texture to one of these. Uh, so let's access our render dot material dot texture or main texture, and this is going to equal resources dot load, and we store this in graphics slash. card type as texture 2D okay uh, back in playmat we're gonna go ahead and create a list so we need to use system.collections.generic We're going to make a public list of cards and in here we are going to go ahead and grab our card off of this object. So cards.add go.getComponent card. Okay. Now we're going to make another function. And in this function, we're going to go ahead and create card types. And create card types is going to be called here. We can set our difficulty. That's the first thing in start. Okay. So in create card types, we're going to go ahead and loop through our card list in a specific way so that we can access and generate uh, pairs. Because in a matching game, each card needs to have a corresponding other card to match with. So to do this, we're only going to loop through half of the list. Because the opposite half is where our other card is going to come from. So we'll have C1 equals cards sub i. And then we'll have card C2. And this is going to equal... our card count half minus one since this is not greater than or equal to and then minus i which is our indexer so this will get the opposite item at the end of the list and then we're going to go ahead and say string type equals game setting dot instance dot get random type and then we're going to say c1 dot generate card type c2 dot generate card of the same type okay 
and let's go ahead and fix up some problems here. Okay. All right, so if we press play, we will see that our cards are in fact randomizing. If you notice, we have an odd number of uh, cards. We have 13. So that means there is one card here that will not match. So there are a couple of ways we can handle this. We can leave it in, and at the end of the game, when we want to detect victory, we can check to see if there's only one card remaining. Or we can prevent uh, creation of uh, layouts that have an odd number of cards. I'm going to go with the first solution, but either one would work. Alright, so now that we have that working, the next thing we want to do is actually be able to click on our cards. And we're going to do this like so on mouse down. And then we're just going to print out I'm clicked. So, in order for this to work on the card, we need to add a box collider to it. So let's go ahead and add a box collider, press play, and uh, let's see if these colliders are the right size. Uh, Four. Oh, no, down. Hmm. Okay. So fix this, we're going to go ahead and do some stuff. So to get this to work, when we create our slots, or when we grab our layout cards from our slots, we're going to go ahead and remove from our slots the uh, collider that it has. Get component box collider. And we just want to destroy this. All right. And so now we get our click events. It was uh, before the slot was blocking the card from being clicked. Okay, uh, that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys for watching.